So what do you do YouTube? It's your boy Lil Timmy and I'm back with another video today, dog. As y'all see from the title, we're gonna be talking about what happens when you become more attractive as a man and just some of the things that you're gonna experience. So I just got a little quick list right here. So if you see me looking down, looking down at the piece of paper for the notes and yeah, bro, we ain't even gonna waste y'all time like that, bro. Let's get right into it. So number one, People stare at you, bro. You're gonna get more eyeballs on you. Like, every room that you walk into, bro, men and women are gonna stare at you, but, like, you're gonna notice, like, bro, like, oh my god, like, bro, cute women are, like, actually staring at me. Like, ugly women, too. Uh, but women are gonna be really staring at you, dog. And then the thing is, like, I've had staring contests with so many women because the thing is, like, I'm a firm believer that if you and a girl make eye contact, you should never be the first one looking away. Not saying it's right or wrong, but that's just how I do it. So I've had full on staring contests with hoes because they thought that I was going to look away off quick and shit. They end up doing that when they, once they see like, oh, he's not looking away. So yeah, bro, people are going to stare at you. And like I said, you're going to end up in staring contests with women. And, um, uh, yeah, hold up. And let me just say, if the woman is attractive, you should go approach. It shouldn't be any staring contest. You know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> and, uh, and another thing is people treat you really good. Um, people without egos, I'll say that because I'm a, I'm a hit into the next, like why I say people without egos, uh, I'm a hit into that later in the video. But yeah, bro, people just treat you nicely. Like people treat you like, cool, people want to be around attractive people, so they treat you how they want to be treated. Like, I rarely, like, have a negative encounter. Like, I'm going to be honest, like, bro, especially with women, dog. Like, women treat you really nicely. Like, you're going to notice people without egos. People want to make conversations with you. People are interested to see your opinion on things. People want to... People just want to talk to you, dog. And that's just because people want to be around attractive people. Like, like... And I'm also say like, bro, uh, when you're attractive, some people are gonna think that you're rude um, because I don't know why, like there's like a stigma that if you're attractive, you're just rude as fuck. I think it's like the mean girl stigma, but like people are gonna assume that you're rude, dog. Like I'm just gonna keep it all the way of being. So yeah, definitely smile more. Don't try to like people please and make them think, like try to force people to have a certain image of you. But yeah, bro, just be you. But I'm just letting you know that people are going to, like, assume that you're just rude, you're cocky, and you have your way all the time. So that'll actually make people kind of standoffish towards you. And whole time that ain't the case, but that's just their perception of you. You know what I'm saying? So don't even get mad about that or anything. That's nothing really you could do. That's a them problem. But, um, yeah, so this is, like, the huge, like, you're going to notice this a lot, a lot. You're gonna receive hate from other men, dog. Like, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, bro, because, like, they're insecure, bro. Um, and you're gonna notice that when you go in public and you see, like, a couple or anything like that, these dudes are gonna get to acting weird. They're gonna be mate guarding their girl because they see you as attractive, so, like, they see you as a threat. Like, so they, they, it's crazy because, like, just because you become more attractive as a man, Motherfuckers automatically think like you want their girl and get to acting weird and some more shit. Like, it's crazy, but I experienced this so much. I'm not saying it's a con because if a nigga play, you can whoop his ass, but it's just like, bro, like, and then it's crazy because a lot of the time you don't even be worried about the girl because she's with a dude, but as soon as that dude get to like trying to kiss her and overcompensate for you looking better than him. You know, bro. Yeah, bro, he's doing that shit because I'm attractive. So here's an example. Like, a girl that I went to high school with or whatever, uh, I seen her out at this restaurant, and she literally introduced her boyfriend to me for, for no reason, I guess because, like, we, we used to know each other. I guess she wanted to let him know that I wasn't a threat. I'm wearing exactly what y'all... I was wearing exactly what y'all see right now, and this dude is overweight, not really in shape, so... I would just notice, like, bro, he would just keep trying to, like, grab her ass. He would just keep trying to kiss her. But I'm talking about, like, in front of me, though. Like, it's cool if you can do that with your girl and shit. But, like, nigga, he kept trying to do So, bro, where the camera's at, like, the distance y'all are from me right now, that's where that nigga was at. He just kept trying to kiss this girl and, like, just grab her, just make sure that, like, she knew that he was his. I'm like, bro, you don't even need to do all that. But he really was just doing it to make sure I seen and I didn't really give a shit. But... 
Yeah, bro, you're going to notice guys doing that, bro. Guys, like, really trying to, like, be all lovey-dovey with their girl around you, bro. Because deep down inside, they know that you can take facts. And like I said, bro, that's a them problem. Don't change or try to dim your light around these type of people. Um, especially, like, bro, if they with their girl, bro, don't dim your light, bro. Just keep on being you. They girl looking and they mad, that's a them problem, bro. Fuck them. No cap. So, I will say, bro, if you're not ready for, like, men to hate you or men to be feeling some kind of animosity towards you, bro, do not become attractive. What's up, boss? Do not become more attractive as a man, dog. I'm telling you that shit right now. Like, niggas hate, bro. Like, and, and I don't even know why. I couldn't tell you why, bro. Like I said, bro, that's a them problem. I can't really... We're not just going to please those people, though. Like, don't dim your life for none of these fucking people, bro. Facts on oh, God. So, um, yeah, and also to add to that, guys will spread rumors about you to chicks, bro, just so they can have chicks looking at you a different kind of way. Well, guys, and they're going to spread rumors to other people, period. You understand what I'm saying? Just to make you look like you're not what people think you are. You understand what I'm saying, bro? These are the hating ass guys where you're going to run into, bro. You have to be ready for this, bro. This isn't a joke. People are really going to try to like, downplay you, that's another thing, they're gonna try to downplay you, especially guys, bro, these hating ass niggas, like, no cap, and, and guys are gonna cock block your opportunities with chicks, I've dealt with this so much, bro, like, I'm gonna be honest, like, bro, a girl, a guy sees that a girl was, like, really into you, he's gonna try to, like, cock block and do anything he can to make sure that you don't, have any relations with this girl, bro, because either because he wants her, or this nigga's just a hater, and I've experienced women cock blocking me too because the girl cock blocking me doesn't want me to fuck with the girl that I want to fuck with because she wants to fuck with me. So, yeah, bro, people want to cock block your opportunities with women, especially hating ass dudes, where you have to be ready for that, bro. Like, on no funny shit. So, number two, or number three, honestly, I'm not even numbering it, I'm just listing it, honestly. But women are going to send you choose the signals, and some are going to send you obvious signs that they're attracted to you. Choose the signals is women sending you indirect signals and signs that she likes you, such as her, like, smiling at you, or her, every time she sees you, she always speaks and smiles, or her bending over in front of you trying to pull her leggings up, showing you that she got ass, or, like, her just taking clothes off to show her physique when you come around, like, bro... Choose singles are indirect signs that a girl wants you to come up and talk to her. If you're in the gym and you notice that this girl keeps following you around every machine you go to, she's keep getting close to you, bro. She wants you to talk to her. So that's a choose a signal. Let's just get that out the way. I'm going to do a whole video on that. But yeah, and then I said some girls are going to see you obvious signs that they're attracted to you. And here's the thing, bro. When you become more attractive, it's relationship or not. They don't give a shit. They can be married. They can have a... Uh, a boyfriend with kids, they can have a family with kids, like, bro, they don't give a shit, and I can tell you this from personal experience, bro, I've literally, like, and, and I'm gonna also say this, bro, it does not matter the dynamic of it either, if a woman thinks you're attractive, bro, she is going to show it, when you start becoming more attractive and working on yourself as a man, bro, I don't give a shit if it's your boss, I don't give a shit if it's your teacher, I don't care if it's your friend's mom, I don't care if it's your friend's sister, your, your friend's cousin, whoever, bro, I don't care, bro. They are going to show you. Like I said, it's either going to be over or it's going to be indirect, which is a choose a signal. So, bro, this, this shit you got to be on the lookout for, dog. Like, and women, like, they're just going to say a lot of slick shit to you, period, bro. Like, women are going to throw themselves on you. Women are going to approach you. Women are going to say a lot of slick shit to you, bro. You just got to be ready for that. And, of course, this is a good thing, but, of course, like, everyone could have guessed that female attraction comes with becoming more attractive as a man, so I'm not even really going to spend too much time on that, but bro, women in relationships are not, bro, I promise you, bro, they're going to be on you, bro, I've literally had married women, women in relationships, send me choose the was right in front of their fucking dude, and then it's like, bro, I'd be like, bro, this is why I would never get into a relationship, because I see this side of it, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying, dead ass though, so... Number three, or whatever, the next one, you're going to start losing friends and people who are close to you. And I put friends in quotations because those niggas weren't really for you to begin with. But you just working on yourself, focusing on becoming a better version of yourself, it's going to expose the fake people in your life. 
Um, when people are used to you being a certain way or getting treated a certain way or just being looked at a certain kind of way, when you start to change that, like that image that they have of you, they kind of feel threatened. Like they kind of feel like, oh shit, like bro, like he, he he's getting better. Like uh, he's not that like that fat, unattractive dude who used to always get picked on in the group. Like he's actually blowing up and taking care of himself, bro. So some people they don't like that, especially when they know that you look better than them and you've been putting the work in more than them. They don't like that, bro. And um, and a lot of guys they were around you when you were ugly, can't uh like can attract women and stuff like that like they were around you because it made some some of those guys feel better about themselves you understand what i'm saying so when you actually start to you know increase your looks become more attractive they like oh hell no nah, we ain't used to this version of him and bro you can even really start losing like family members and close people to you bro because they're not used to this new you this new you as i'll say like it's still the same you but you just been putting in work on yourself and to become a better version of yourself. Yeah, bro, people get jealous, bro. People get intimidated by that shit, bro. Like, that's another thing I'll add, bro. When you become more attractive, bro, people are intimidated by you. Like, especially women. Like I said, like, a woman can think you're cute as fuck, bro. Cute as a bitch. But she doesn't look at you. She literally walks right past you every time she sees you. She doesn't send you any choosing signals. And I'm explaining to you why, bro. Just like how guys are scared to talk to really hot women, we freeze up, we stutter, we can't even go up to approach them and and all that shit uh, because we're scared as fuck. Girls have the same thing when it comes to a really attractive guy or a guy that they find really attractive. They're, they're just as scared as these niggas who's scared to uh, talk to these hot women out here, bro. It works the same way. So your looks are going to intimidate some people, bro. So you got to be ready for that. I will say that. No, for sure, bro. And I literally say, but I literally have guys like who, who stop inviting me places because they literally know anytime I come around, bro, I'm pulling hogs. Like, and, and, and I'm not trying to be cocky or any of that, bro. I'm just being dead ass honest, bro. Every time we would go out on a mission or whatever, I would notice, bro, like the girls would be flocking to me. Like, and it's because, bro, like I'm putting in work and I have been putting in the work. And then when you're around niggas who don't work out or who don't put in work at all, you are like a fucking star. Like, you're like a shooting star. And it's like, you don't even have to talk too much, but your energy says a lot. Your player bill says a lot. Your face says a lot without you having to say much. So, yeah, but I literally had dudes stop inviting me when we go on missions and shit because they'd be thinking like, oh, man, bro, like, I can't, I'm not going to invite him because I already know the girl that I want. She won't be on him. So let's just not invite him. I'm being dead ass, bro. Like, I've noticed, bro, like, we'd be around hella groups of females, multiple different occasions. And girls would just be feeling me and they would be letting me know that they feeling me. Even the girls that they want, they would just be letting me know that they feeling me. So a lot of guys are going to hate on you for that, bro. A lot of guys are not going to want to be around you because of that, bro. Like, they feel small. They feel minuscule when you're around. They feel like, ah, uh, yeah, it really looks like I haven't been putting in the work around this dude. So, they're just not going to invite you. They're just not going to want you around. They're not going to tell you events where the shorty's at and shit like that. Because, like I said, bro, they know, bro, if you come around, the hoes that they want are going to be flocking to you and not them, bro. So, yeah, bro. They know, bro, like I said, bro, they, they they already know. They already know what's up with you. Even if you don't see it yourself, bro, if you notice that guys just stop inviting you places or get to acting weird around these hoes or get to treating you different, get to, like, you know, just having that, like, that hateful energy towards you, that passive-aggressive energy towards you, that's why, bro, they know that you're attractive, they know that you've been putting in the work, and they know that you can pull their hoes. And... I will add, guys with girlfriends, if they start acting weird towards you when they girl around or passive aggressive or lovey dovey, like I said before, they know that you can take their hoe, bro. They already know. They already know, bro. That's why they acting like that on that funny shit. So, yeah, bro. Leave them niggas alone and them niggas are hoes. That's why I said, bro, and I don't even think I said this yet, bro. If you become more attractive as a man, bro, you need to know how to fight, bro. Because niggas are, like, just on bitch shit. And you need to be able to check that shit whenever it's necessary. 
And some guys are gonna feel like they he man whenever they girl around, and you gotta be able to put that shit in check without any fear. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, but um, also I'll say you're gonna receive a lot of compliments or none at all, and and you're gonna receive a lot of compliments from people with less ego, and then you're gonna receive no compliments at all from people with more ego. And and the reason why this is, bro, people. Think that attractive people hear that they're attractive a lot or that they get complimented a lot so you're going to notice a lot of women or just people in general they're going to be less hesitant to compliment you because they think you hear the shit all day so they don't want to just be a part of that crowd that's just that they feel exists that's just always gassing you like a fucking celebrity which it doesn't but that's how they feel about the shit you understand what i'm saying so and i'm also add. Uh, some people are either really nice to you or really mean to you because they think you get treated special and they know that you're attractive. Um, people who are like really mean towards you, like, bro, they know that you're attractive and they think like, yeah, everybody's always on his dick. Everybody's always nice to him. So I'm not just about to treat him like everybody else. You're going to notice, bro, some women who like you are going to play this card. Like, I'm just being very honest. Like, they're going to play this card. And... Like I said, hating ass guys in general, some of them are just going to be very standoffish towards you. And some people are going to be like, hey, like, like, what do you do? Or like, what do you think of this? Or like, hey, like, what's your workout routine? Or hey, like, how do you think that I can get in better shape? Like, some people are going to actually come with, come to you with no ego and just try to pick your brain and see what they can learn from you and shit like that, bro. But like I said, bro, there's two sides to that. There's people who want to hate you, and there's people who want to want to be around you. You understand what I'm saying? So you have to be ready for both. If you notice a girl or a guy automatically acting weird, and you don't even know these niggas, or you not even really close with them like that, this is why, bro. They know that you're attractive, and it just makes them feel some kind of way inside because they don't have that confidence in the looks that you do. You understand what I'm saying? So keep all that in mind, bro. And I'll also say, people just start random conversations with you. Like, people want to talk to you. People are excited to be around you. These are the people that aren't haters. These are the people that you want to be around, bro. So, yeah, bro, I'm bro, you could be waiting in the line, bro. The person in front of you or behind you, they're going to start a conversation with you. Everywhere you go, bro, someone's bound to start a conversation with you. And like I said, just because they don't does not mean you're attractive because some people are intimidated by your looks. It actually draws them away and pushes them away because and, and you'll notice it's really sometimes a lot of insecure people that do that like they're like yeah i'm not trying to be around him because it makes me look like i'm not really doing what i'm supposed to do like you're going to notice like people who aren't putting in the work people who aren't going to the gym people who aren't trying to up their attraction they don't want to be around you dog it just gives them a certain kind of ick like it points out all their flaws to them in their opinion. Not saying it does, but to them, that's how they feel, dog. So, yeah, bro, this is just my list of what happens when you become more attractive as a man, bro. This shit is dead ass serious. I might make a part two because it's probably some things that I left out. So, yeah, bro, just a little recap. You're going to receive hate from other men, point blank, period. And like I said, you need to learn how to fight so you can just check any bullshit by any means at any time. Um, people are going to stare at you. And treat you really nice uh, people without ego. So like I said, bro, there's a, there's a double-edged sword. Some people are going to like you. Some people are going to hate you because of your looks. Um, women are going to send you choosing signals and send you obvious signs that they find you attractive. No matter if they're in a relationship or not. No matter if it's your teacher, your boss, uh, your teacher that's married, your principal. Like, dog, it don't matter. Like, it just does not matter. Um, I've had... Friends, moms, friends, sisters, friends, like anything, like I've literally had them like kind of like hit and throw like indirect choosing signals that like they that they like find the kid attractive. So like, yeah, see you, boss. But yeah, bro, like that's like just how that shit gonna go, bro. I'm just being very honest with you. And women are gonna throw themselves at you. It's gonna be some sometimes in some places like where you're you're fighting to keep women off of you. You're fighting to like. Like, ignore the female attention, bro. Like, this shit really gets down like that, or no cap. And, like I said, you're going to start losing friends and close people that are... And, and, like I said, close people, because those people aren't really for you. They see you improving and getting better. They hate that. So, you actually working on yourself, working on your vibration, and just 
upping your attraction and then just increasing your overall health is going to expose the fake people around you. I promise you, bro. Niggas going to get to acting weird, not trying to invite you places, start just acting mad different towards you, especially around these females and, and shit like that, bro. This shit gets real once you become more attractive, bro. No bullshit. And then, like I said, bro, you're going to be viewed as a threat to some people. Um, guys with girlfriends in specific, you're going to be viewed as a threat, especially both their beta and not insecure they self, especially if they fat as fuck and they know that they girl would cheat on them with you. Oh yeah, bro. You're going to be viewed as a threat. People are going to be trying to be lovey dovey with their girl around you. They're going to be trying to like, just be passive aggressive, cover their girl's ass, hug her, kiss her, do all that when you're around. No cap. And then you're going to receive a lot of compliments or none at all because people think that you hear it all day and then... Um, the the people that you're receiving compliments from, they just have less ego, for sure. And then, people start random conversations with you. People want to be around you, bro. Like, you got to understand, bro, when you're attractive, people view that as, like, you take care of yourself, that you're healthy. Like, people want to be around people like that. And I will also say is, yeah, people have the stigma that some attractive people are rude. So, it might not, uh, and like I said, that ties into... Some people being intimidated by you, so they won't even come up to you because they think you gonna come up. So they they're gonna come up to you. You're just gonna spit in their face and just say all the meanest shit possible, which just is not true. So yeah, but that's the end of this video, bro. I definitely might make a part two uh, if I feel like I left some stuff out. Um, yeah, bro. I appreciate y'all, man. All the love that y'all been giving me, bro. We're about to hit 3K subscribers, bro. One of the guys, one of the gang, bro. Shout out to the Most High, bro. He did it, not me. And yeah, bro, keep doing y'all things, saying fuck with anybody else, talking about as long as you're happy. Did what I was saying, bro. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. I'm out of here, coach. <laughs>